They've come from all over the world with one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question still remains. Do you have it? Welcome to the Extreme Arena. This is Global Guts, Nickelodeon's World Championship for Kids. Let's meet today's players representing the United States of America in the blazing blue. It's Toasty. And in the righteous red representing Team Canada, it's Blue McCall. And in the primetime purple from Scotland, but playing for the United Kingdom, it's Chris McBee. Three players, three flags, three countries, and only one world champion. Hello, everyone. Once again, I'm MonkeyDo22, and before we get to today's game, let's take a quick look at the gold medal standings. Now, of course, we don't have any medals to show you right now, but we'll be keeping tabs throughout the entire Global Guts series to see which country will come out on top. Who will take home the first gold medal today? Let's get underway and find out. Now, in our first event here on Global Guts Peak to Peak, our players will have to parkour their way across the Alps in a race against the clock. The player to light the beacon on the other side of the Alps and then make a return trip to light the beacon on the other side will win the race. Time penalties will be added for any missed peaks, but it looks like Toasty is ready to make his journey. Let's see what he can do. On your mark, get set. Alrighty, and Toasty is on his way. Oh no, he falls off the first peak right off the bat. Looks like he got a bad jump there on the first peak. He's got to climb back up. Looks like he has, making the first leap across. Very nice by Toasty. Finding his rhythm right now with 15 seconds on the clock here. Great time here by Toasty as he's making his way across. The key to this event is finding your momentum. Finding your momentum, lighting the beacon, which he does right there. 25 seconds on the clock. He's making his way back right now. Finding your rhythm, finding your momentum. That is the key to this race and getting up a good time here. 35 seconds on the clock. He's almost right there to lock in on the beacon. Will he get it? There it is with 39 seconds on the clock. With a two-second penalty there, it looks like 41 seconds for Toasty. So now it'll be up to Blue Macaw in red for Team Canada. He needs to fly in this event to beat 41 seconds, and it looks like he's ready to go. On your mark, get set. And here he goes, Blue Macaw making his first leap onto the first peak. Very nice move there by Blue. He's got to find the momentum here as he's just now starting the race. This is where Toasty started to pick up the pace. Blue is taking a little bit longer. A little bit of slow and steady wins the race here, I think, for Blue. He's finally getting his momentum. He's got one more peak to go before getting on the other side of the aerial bridge. He needs to hit that beacon in a quick time here. And there he goes, he's on the bridge, hits the beacon, now he's got to make his way back with 25 seconds on the clock. He's going to need a motor, he's going to need a motor if he's going to beat 41 seconds. He's up to 33, halfway through the course, let's see if he can catch up, see if he can get the momentum. Almost there, I don't know if it's going to be enough for first place, he's got one more peak, let's see if he can get it. Oh, he missed the ladder there. And he lights the beacon, and that's going to end the race at 46 seconds. So not enough to beat first place, but it's going to be up to Chris McBee for Scotland and the UK. Let's see if he can beat 41 seconds. Chris, on your mark, get set. All right, here we go. He jumps off to the first peak. Oh, same thing with Toasty. He just missed the first peak there. Misjudged it, but it looks like he's going to go back up to the aerial bridge to try to gain that momentum again. Now, all of these peaks do have ladders on them. The players can use those. The ideal is that they don't miss any peaks. So here he goes. Looks like Chris found that ladder. He's going to climb up the other side now. 23 seconds here. He's going to need a motor through this course if he's going to want to have any chance of getting first place here. With 30 seconds on the clock, he is going over to his second peak right now. Having a little bit of trouble. Not sure which peak to go to. The Lex to go across misses the first peak there. That may be a two-second penalty. We'll have to take a look at the official ruling from the judges here. As we're halfway through the course here, 45 seconds on the clock. Chris making a nice leap. Oh, oh no, he just fell off. I think he made the jump, but he did fall off there. He's got to climb back up onto the peak with 55 seconds on the clock. He's going to have to do it again. Here he goes, back up on top. Looks to make the jump right now. Nice jump right there from Chris. Minute and three on the clock here. Oh, he fell down the ladder again. Having trouble with his footing here. I think he's having a little bit of difficulty with peak to peak. Parkour may not be his strong point, but we'll see if he's able to make up some ground and maybe some of these other events. Not going to be enough for first place points this time, or even second place, but he's going to be determined to finish this course in a respectable time. Minute 25 on the clock. He is almost back over there on the other side. Needs to light that beacon and make a return journey 
to light the beacon to end the race. Here we go. Climbing up, lights the beacon with a minute 35 on the clock here. Time to make the return journey for Chris. Misses the first jump. Oh, no. He looks like he just missed it, just barely there. You need to get a running start there on the first peak. And it looks like Chris just struggled with that one right there. But he's back up on top. Makes a nice leap across. Touches the peak. He does fall, but that's okay. He did count it. He did actually touch that peak. He decides to climb up again. Let's see if he can make it away across here. Two minutes on the clock as we're reaching the halfway point on his return journey. Let's see if he can make the jump right now. Nice jump. Oh, just a little bit short. Looked like he had it, but it looks like he uh, maybe hesitated just a little bit on that last jump. Let's see if he can make it up now. Two minutes, 18 seconds on the clock. Makes the leap. Nice jump there from Chris. And again, very nice. He's starting to find that rhythm. Let's see if he can continue the pace. Oh, he fell down again. Oh, he's just not having a good day here with this uh, event peak to peak. Here we go. Two minutes, 33 seconds on the clock. Makes the last jump. Climbs up the aerial bridge. Locks in, and that's going to be good enough. Two minutes, 38 seconds on there with any time penalties added. But let's go ahead and get the official results right now in Peak to Peak. Coming in first place on Peak to Peak was Toasty in blue. In second place, Blue Macaw in red. In the third place, Chris in purple. Now let's take a look at the leaderboard standings after our first event. And first place is worth 300 points. That goes to Toasty from the United States. Second place is worth 200 points. That goes to Blue Macaw from Canada. And third place is worth 100 points, which goes to Chris from the UK. Alrighty, a fantastic match so far between all three of our players. Toasty is out in front, but there's still plenty of time for Blue and Chris to catch up. Now into our next event, Make Your Mark. Our players will be using the slime blocks to their advantage to reach for the stars and make their mark on the wall. Each player will have three attempts to place a block on the wall as high as they can, and the player with the highest mark wins. Toasty, our blue player from the U.S., looks like he's ready to go. He'll have three attempts to set up the pace. Let's see what he can do. On your mark, get set. All right, and here's Toasty off the aerial bridge with his first jump. Whoa, -ho -ho -ho. what a jump there from Toasty. That looks to be about six blocks high. Let's see if he can best it with his second jump right now. And he leaps off the aerial bridge, bounces up, takes the shot. Ooh, looks like he just missed the mark on that one. Looks to be about five blocks high. We'll see if he can do it on his third and final attempt, see if he can beat his six. Here we go. Off the aerial bridge, bounces up, and ooh, right in the halfway point there. So it looks like five and a half. His highest is six. And it's going to be up to Blue Macaw in red for Canada to beat that mark. Let's see what he can do. On your mark, get set. And here we go. He bounces off the aerial bridge, jumps up, and places the block on the board. Looks like it's going to be about four blocks high. Not enough to beat Toasty, but he's going to have two more attempts as Blue makes his way back up to the top of the aerial bridge. Two more attempts to beat six blocks. Let's see if he can do it right here. As he gets set up for his next run, jumps off the aerial bridge, bounces up. There it is. If that is official, that is a tie between Toasty and Blue from Canada for the first place points. He's going to have one more chance to best it. Off the aerial bridge, bounces up, and oh, just misses the mark. But that's okay. It looks to be official. Blue Macaw has tied Toasty and Blue. They're both now sitting in first place. Chris from the UK is up next. Let's see if he can beat that mark of six blocks high and take home first place points. On your mark. Get set. And here he goes leaping up. And oh, just misses right there. He gets it on the wall, but I think he wanted it to be a little bit higher. That's two and a half blocks. Here he goes for his second attempt. Chris from the UK, bouncing off the aerial bridge, jumping up. Ooh, that's a little bit better. He's got one more chance to break that barrier of six blocks high that Toasty and Blue are tied with right now. Third attempt, jumping off, bouncing up, and oh, right in the middle. Looks like he hesitated just a little bit there when he put the block on the wall, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get the results right now. Coming in first place was both Toasty in blue and Blue Macaw in red. In third place, Chris McBee in purple. As we take a look at the leaderboards after two events, we have Toasty from the United States in the lead with 600 points. In second place, right behind him is Blue Macaw from Canada with 500 points. And in third place, Chris from the UK with 200 points. 
Well, folks, we're halfway there, but we're not all the way there yet. In our next event, Tornado Run, players will have to navigate through a post-apocalyptic racetrack full of obstacles such as rivers, earthquakes, and so much more. Players will start at the sound of my whistle and then race around the track. The first player to successfully navigate the track and cross the finish line will receive first place points. Looks like our players are ready, so on your mark, get set. And here we go with the start of Tornado Run. As it looks like Blue is out to an early lead, but Toasty's taking the inside. Blue, nice job jumping over the Leapfrog lily pads right now, heading into the Earthquake. It looks like Toasty finding some room. Nice moves by Toasty as he gets around Blue. They're up to the wall climb in the Jungle Vines. Looks like Toasty decides to go low. Blue decides to do the same thing. It looks like Toasty could be out in front. Toasty could take it, and he crosses the finish line. There it is. That's good enough for first place. Coming in second place is Blue Macaw. And as we take a look back here, it looks like Chris McBee coming through the Jungle Vines portion of our course right now, jumping over that last hurdle, and he will come in for third place. Great race by all three of our players here. It looks like Toasty came in first, Blue in second, and Chris in third. But let's get the official results right now. Coming in first place on Tornado Run is Toasty from the United States. In second place, Blue McCaw from Canada, and in third place, Chris from the UK. Now let's take another look at our leaderboard and Toasty holding on to his perfect score after three events. He's currently in the lead with 900 points. In second place, Blue McCaw with 700 points. And in third place, Chris with 300 points. Well, three down and one to go before we get to that rock. But with only 200 points separating our first place player and second place player, it's still anyone's game. As we head into our final event before the aggro crag, jump, jump. A classic event here on Guts where our players will be flying through the air and jumping over hurdles at the same time. Players will start at the sound of my whistle and jump off the aerial bridge. They will then have to leap over two hurdles before lighting the beacon on the other side and then make a return trip. Once again, leaping over the hurdles and hitting the beacon to end the race. Time penalties will be added for any missed hurdles. Best time wins. And it looks like Toasty is ready up on the aerial bridge. On your mark. Get set. And here comes Toasty leaping over the first hurdle. Nice job. And the second one. No penalties there as he climbs up the aerial bridge on the other side. He's at 10 seconds when he hits the beacon right now. He's got to make the return trip. Nice leap over the first one. Over the second one. Not a problem. He's got to hit that beacon real quick. If he wants to set a good time right here. And there he goes. 19 seconds on the clock. That's going to be a tough one for Blue to beat. Let's see if he can do it as he looks like he's ready up on the aerial bridge. He's got to beat 19 seconds set by Toasty. On your mark, get set. And here goes Blue Macaw flying over the first hurdle. Over the second one, not a problem as he climbs up the aerial bridge on the other side. Hits the beacon here at 10 seconds. Same thing with Toasty. Ooh, little hesitation there. That may hurt him as he comes across. Over the second hurdle, he's got to climb up. 19 seconds, the time to beat. Another hesitation on the ladder. And oh, there it is. 20 seconds for Blue, just one second off the leader, Toasty. Looks like Toasty's going to run away with the one, and Chris, Chris can come back. He needs a good time here. On your mark, get set. And here comes Chris. Makes a nice trip. Oh, runs into the first hurdle. He's going to have to climb up real fast if he wants to get some momentum going the other way. That's going to be two two-second penalties as he hits the beacon. 11 seconds on the clock. He needs to fly back over these hurdles. Hes hesitates right there as he goes and runs into the first hurdle. Runs over the second one. He's not having a good day so far. And jump, jump as he's climbing up the aerial bridge at 25 seconds. Lights the beacon at 27 seconds with a couple of different penalties there. And with four two-second penalties, that's going to put Chris at 35 seconds. But let's go ahead and get the official results from Jump Jump right now. Coming in first place on Jump Jump was Toasty in blue. In second place, Blue Macaw in red. And in third place, Chris in purple. Once again, Toasty in blue battling it out the entire game. But as we take a look at the leaderboards going into the aggro, Craig, Toasty has a chance to do what only one other person has done before in Minecraft Guts and that's to go for the perfect score. He's in first place with 1,200 points. In second place, Blue Macaw from Canada with 900 points. And in third place right now is Chris from the UK with 400 points. That was a look at where they stand, but let's take a look at how they got there. 
In our first event, Peak to Peak, Toasty set the pace in this event, but Blue McCall was right on his heels the entire time, missing out on first place by just a few seconds. Then we went on to Make Your Mark, where once again Toasty set the bar high, but Blue channeled in his inner bird to fly all the way up to the top on his second attempt and score a tie for first place. Then we headed back on down to the track for Tornado Run, and this was nothing short of a neck and neck battle the whole way through. Toasty was able to find a path through the earthquake just a tad bit quicker than Blue, which won him the race and set us up for our last event, Jump Jump. And it looked like Blue McCall was going to rob Toasty of his perfect score, but just a slight hesitation on the return trip over the hurdles and ladder climb put him just a second behind. But of course, it all comes down to this, the Super Aggro Crag. First it was the Aggro Crag, then it evolved into the Mega Crag. But here it is today, the Super Aggro Crag, filled with more slime, more obstacles than ever before. And let me tell you something, the stakes have also skyrocketed in this event because third place is now worth 375 points, 550 for second, and first place is worth a whopping 725 points. Players will begin the climb up Boulder Canyon and must touch the top of each peak before hitting their first of eight actuators on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of their targets, including the final one at the peak of the mountain, will receive first place points. And so it all comes down to this. Three players, three countries, one gold on the line as well as a perfect score, and millions at home watching on YouTube. It's time to kick it off. Players, on your mark, get set. And here we go as our players begin the climb up Boulder Canyon. It's Toasty in blue on your left-hand side of the screen. Blue McCaw in red for Team Canada and Chris in purple for the UK. It looks like Toasty hitting his second actuator on his way to the third one. Blue is right behind him moving up to that second actuator. Double backing to hit the third one. Toasty climbing up right now to the second tier, middle tier, halfway through the crag. Hits the actuator, looks to get up the crisscross ladders here. Looks like he'd missed an actuator. Let's see if he's going to be able to figure that out pretty quickly. A perfect score is on the line as Blue McCaw, one more actuator before the top. Toasty gets to the top. He realizes he misses an actuator. The crag troll told him about it. Time for him to climb back up as it looks like Blue, all the actuators. Is he going to get first place on the crag and ruin the perfect score? Oh, no. Blue fell and Toasty nails it. It is a first place finish for Toasty if that is official and it's a perfect score. We'll have to look at the replay and get the official ruling from the judges, but Blue McCall in red coming in second, Chris McBee in third. Wow, what a finish on the aggro crag there. I didn't know if it was gonna be Toasty or Blue, but let's get the official results on the aggro crag and find out right now. Coming in first place, Toasty from the USA. In second place, Blue McCall from Canada. In third place, Chris from the UK. Wow, what an amazing race between all three of our players on the Super Aggro Crag. Let's take a look at our final leaderboard standings. In third place today, Chris McBee from the UK with 775 points. In second place, Blue McCall from Canada with 1,450 points. And our winner today, Toasty from the United States of America with a perfect score of 1,925 points. And with that, Toasty attains a rank only the gatekeeper has ever achieved, a perfect score. Toasty will join Gates on the sidelines for now until another challenger appears with a perfect score. But it wasn't just Toasty who showed he's got guts. Blue fought an amazing battle and did Canada proud. And while it wasn't Chris's day on guts now, who knows what the future may bring? Yes, sir, no if, ands, or buts. All three of these players got guts. Do you have it? Guts was recorded in Minecraft in front of a live studio audience at Nickelodeon Studios in Nickworld. 